Speaking in a foreign language is one of the most intimidating things that I can personally think of. And it's often that exact fear of speaking that stops so many people from progressing in their language learning and taking their learning to the next level. So how do we overcome that fear? It's what I'm going to talk to you today about in this video. So being a polyglot and speaking seven languages, you might think this girl doesn't ever have that fear. Well, how, how would she even know what she's talking about? She's never had that. And I can tell you that that's not true. You might be surprised to find out that back in the day, I used to be such a perfectionist. And honestly, I would just not want to speak at all in the beginning until I had reached a level where I felt like I had enough vocabulary or I felt like I could put phrases together perfectly and really until it was perfect I never wanted to speak and this was one of the things that actually hindered me from getting better and improving overall. So how do we improve our speaking? How do we get better and how do we overcome this fear? Well as you might know just opening up your mouth and speaking is probably the advice that people will give you. If you want to train your speaking speak more. But the biggest problem is the one that's inside your head. And what I'm going to teach you in this video is how to destroy those limiting beliefs in your head that are stopping you from speaking with other native speakers, improving your language and how to stop them most of all for good. So first of all, I want to go into a little bit of that fear. Why we have that fear? What is this fear of speaking? And basically, why we have this fear is because we are stepping into something that is unknown. So speaking in a foreign language is really uncomfortable. We're stepping out of our comfort zones. And naturally what our mind tries to do is it tries to protect you from something. And in this case, what it's protecting you from is from looking like a fool, from looking like a failure or being a failure. And what our brains will do is they would rather avoid pain and fear, so the pain in this case being this looking like a fool, then actually progressing towards our goals and achieving something good. So once again, your brain wants to avoid pain rather than seek joy and find comfort. So before I give you the steps on how to become more confident in speaking and just get out there, overcome your fears, I want to tell you a little story. So. I will always, always remember this moment. I was in grade 12 and it was my very, very first German oral presentation. So I'd been learning German for about a year or less than a year, I would say. And it was my first big presentation in front of people and most of all in front of my German teacher who was a native speaker. And I remember I was preparing this speech and then one day, in our lesson, my teacher said, okay, Lena, you're up. And I thought it was just a practice. And she was like, no, 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 you're going to do your presentation now. And my instant reaction, I froze. Everything inside me was just like, no, it's not done. You're not perfect. No, you, ju you just can't. And I started crying. I actually started crying. And looking back at it, I can laugh. But when I think about it back then, I just had this really, really unhealthy mindset because I was so scared of making mistakes and so scared of being a failure. And the very first point that I want you to really take in from this video is that whenever you start something new, be it learning a language, be it learning any other skill, and you've never done anything like it, then you have to expect that you're going to make mistakes. So for people who have already learned a language, that's why it's a little bit less in that case that they don't really fear speaking as much, but it's still uncomfortable. So the next step to getting over that discomfort is visualize the thing that you are scared of. So that's what I did. I, whenever I go into an uncomfortable situation, previously I visualized myself speaking, how I would speak and what would happen if everybody started laughing around me. That's probably my biggest fear is that I just look like a fool. And I'll just imagine, okay, I'm going to make this mistake and what's going to happen. And then in my visualization, I'll have the picture in front of my eyes and I'll make it smaller. I will visualize this picture, this image of this really, really embarrassing situation. And I'll just make the colors dim in my mind. I'll make it not, not look so big, not look so relevant. And then the next thing that I will visualize, and I want you to do this as well, is visualize yourself already speaking in that language. Maybe if you are preparing for a job interview or you are about to have your first conversation or your first oral presentation, whatever it might be, practice with yourself. Visualize how you're speaking there 
And then of course, the next step, as I just mentioned, practice. So talk to yourself. And this is a really good way to prepare yourself for conversations that are going to happen in real life. So, you know, for example, we all know we're going to need to introduce ourselves at some point whenever we meet a native speaker in the language we're learning. So practice just introducing yourself. So, for example, I started recently learning Portuguese and I can't, you know, form full sentences yet. I don't know the grammar, but I know some phrases. And so what I'll do, I'll be like, okay, hola, como estás? Todo bem? Eu sou Lina. This is also very spontaneous. So, <laughs> so Australiana. I don't know. So the Brazil. I wish I could say that that I was Brazilian, but I'm not. And see, my Portuguese isn't perfect. I literally know so so little, but I have the confidence to speak because I know that there is nothing to be afraid of. And that's the really really important affirmation that I want you to take from this: is make it clear to yourself. If I am starting something new then I have to expect that I'm going to fail a lot of times, that I'm going to make mistakes. But with every single one of those mistakes, I'm one step to getting better. And in a couple of months, in a couple of weeks, you're going to look back at that moment and you're just going to laugh. It's not going to be relevant because at that stage in the future, you're going to be so much further ahead in your goals or towards your goal than you were at this very moment. So the final thing is as well, yes, you will need to get out and speak to other people if you want to improve your interactions and communication. At the end of the day, we learn languages so that we can communicate with others, whether it be by writing or in oral speech. And if you are not quite comfortable, let's say, I don't know, talking in front of a group or talking to a native speaker yet, you can get a tutor or join a tandem group. There are always people who are looking for a tandem and that is just someone who's maybe looking to learn the language you speak or one of the languages you speak and in turn you are looking to learn their language and it's a language exchange. So that is my final tip and really guys note down this affirmation, write down your number number one fear. What does this look like? What does it sound like when you are yeah, afraid to speak? If you're afraid to make mistakes and go and make those mistakes because they are not as bad as you think they are. And finally, for all of you serious language learners, you can find out more of my secrets and my best tips for language learning in the description box. It is a link to my website and my ebook. I would really, really love it if you had a look at it and I know that you all will learn something from it. Other than that, join the Busy Linguist community. It's completely free and it's a Facebook group with language learners from all around the world. And finally, if you want to learn languages like me, then send me a message because I am a language teacher and I teach online to people all around the world. So send me a message and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions also about things that you want to know about, fears that you have in terms of language learning, write a comment below. I will be more than happy to help you out and have a wonderful day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Ciao, adios, sayonara, see you later.